नमस्ते एंड वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनाइजोपीडिया पोस्ट दिवाली मैं अपने फैमिली के साथ थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा बिजी हो गई थी जिस वजह से मैं अपने न्यू वीडियो को एडिट नहीं कर पाई हूँ मुझे बहुत सारे ऐसे हैक्स के बारे में पूछा जाता है जिन्हें मैंने ऑलरेडी अपने पुराने वीडियोज़ में कवर किया हुआ है तो मैं अपने न्यू व्यूअर्स के लिए उन सारे हैक्स को आज इस वीडियो में कंपाइल कर रही हूँ जिनके बारे में मुझे भी रिसेंटली बहुत सारे क्वेरीज आए थे ताकि आप इनको अच्छी तरीके से एंजॉय कर पाएं और मेरे जो पुराने सब्सक्राइबर्स हैं उनके लिए नेक्स्ट वीक एक न्यू वीडियो मैंने ऑलरेडी प्लान करके रखा हुआ है टर्का पैंस आर यूजली वेरी स्मॉल इन साइज एंड नॉट यूजिंग द करेक्ट स्पून माइट हर्ट योर हैंड्स बैडली समटाइम्स ऑयल माइट जस्ट कम राइट ऑफ एज यू पोर इन एंड गिव यू द बर्नस ऑल्सो यू कैंट आई द यूज अ ब्रॉड साइज स्पेचुला टू स्टर इट because it will not fit properly in small size pans and also there might be a possibility that tadka will come off while you stir it you might think now the regular spoons like these are perfect which are not so broad and you can easily stir the tadka that's right but because they have relatively short handle length it might not serve the purpose either so the smart trick is to always use a cocktail spoon a long mixing spoon which has a perfect length enough not to give you any burns and the size of spoon at the top is also perfect for stirring the tadka from the last few years i have been using these long mixing spoons job sorted no matter which tadka pan i'm using the perfect spoon for stirring the tadka always keep one or two vases here and there with few flowers and plants in it the problem with these narrow stem vases is that you find it difficult to clean with hands because there is no space to get inside and clean it i am going to give you an almost magical way to clean it fill the vase with hot water to an extent don't fill it completely now add one to two sachets of eno based on how big or small the vase is the water will fizz up as you throw in the sachet That's why you don't need to fill it completely. Now wait for 10 to 15 minutes. The gunk and the calcium which is deposited inside the vase will be loosened. Just run it under the faucet and if you find difficult use a brush to clean it inside. And again run it under the faucet and clean it. Now it's all cleaned and ready to again beautify another beautiful corner of your kitchen. When we get a new packet of ghee from the market we just simply cut it and pour it in the container being a homemaker i know we all like to get the last drop of the ghee and in order to get that we just simply flip the packet upside down on the container and then we keep it aside we always think let's wait ki kahi ghee gir na jaye but over these years i have seen my mother doing a very simple thing to get the remaining of the ghee from the packet she just simply keep the packet in the freezer You can leave it overnight or use it whenever you require. Simply take the packet out from the freezer and here as you can see the ghee inside the packet has properly freezed. Cut the sides with the help of a scissor. And now it's easy to remove these chunks of the ghee from the packet. I know These are really very small things but it can really help us a lot in reducing our extra time in the kitchen and we can spend that quality time with our family To say to you I will never forget The sky is blue We spend so much time in the kitchen say cooking washing cleaning a lot happens and the kitchen towel plays an important role in keeping it clean we use towels for wiping hands to wipe the dishes and then after every use we keep them here and there that makes the kitchen look messy and also the towels don't dry up fast here i found an amazing product on amazon the napkin holder this has the zigzag teeth in the front that holds the towel nicely and it comes with a self adhesive which you can stick on tiles or to the cabinet before sticking it to the tiles make sure that you have properly cleaned the area 
Just peel it off from the back and stick it on the tile surface. Now just tuck the towels in it. No more drills and towels are properly organized. Nicely you can hang the towels and wipe your hands. And without any problem, it's easy to remove it back from the holder. This comes in a pack of two just for rupees 90. Can you guys believe it? Small, but very functional. Organizers like these are perfect if you are on rent. When we put oil bottles on the tray, it leaves stubborn oil marks. So, if you are directly keeping the oil bottles, never use wooden tray for this. But make sure you are using steel, glass or plastic trays instead. However, even if you are using glass tray, but along with oil bottle, you are also keeping other things. Over the time, the oil marks will make other things also sticky. So, always try to keep something under the bottles. In this case, I am keeping this bowl where I'm going to keep my ghee container. You can also use the extra lids of your disposable containers to keep them under the oil dispenser to save other things getting sticky because of them. You can also use the unused or discarded lids under the honey bottles in your fridge or on the countertop. If you're keeping the oil bottles inside your pantry, you can use the lids for that also. This can really save your time in the cleaning. This over-the-head microwave organizer. You all have seen many times on my videos, but I always get the question about where I bought it from. I got it from Amazon and it works amazing. Just keep your microwave under it. Over the microwave, you get so much space to organize or store many of your kitchen related stuff. And when you organize your kitchen stuff over the microwave in this vertical space, it leaves so much space on the countertop for meal prep. You can keep all the things which you usually keep on the countertop. Create so much vertical space and what makes it unique is that after organizing so much stuff, you can still use microwave without worrying about getting things out first when you operate your microwave. Make the corner look beautiful and also organize much of your stuff. Whenever you buy organizers for arranging your kitchen, make sure you're choosing them smartly. Like this plate and bowl organizer. Sometimes we just want our kitchen to look the most beautiful. And these organizers are just perfect. They solve the problem of organizing and also make your kitchen look pretty. This occupies the same area. But in that specific area, we got plates and more space for organizing the bowls as well. This organizer can also be used on the countertop for extra storage, like for keeping plates, bowls, lids and glasses occasionally. It can also be used near the sink for drying the dishes. When you are hosting, it will just be the effective way to arrange all your plates in it and keep it on the dining table for your guest. It can also be kept in the cabinets to organize plates and bowls. One organizer which can be used in many ways around the home. कभी कभी हम impulsively बहुत सारी ऐसी चीजें purchase कर लेते हैं जो देखने में तो बहुत सुंदर लगती हैं but somehow हम उन्हें उतना ज़्यादा use नहीं कर पाते हैं जैसे कि ये macrame के hanging planter जो देखने में तो काफी सुंदर लगते हैं but इनका size छोटा होने की वजह से मैं इसे कभी उतना ज़्यादा use नहीं कर पाए home decor के terms में but then I thought क्यों ना इस hanging planter को किसी और तरीके से use किया जाए कुछ और चीजों को organize करने के लिए तो बस एक नेल या कमांड हुक की हेल्प से आप इस हैंगिंग प्लांटर को हैंग करें और जो भी आपके ड्रेसिंग टेबल पर कोम्स या क्रीम्स हैं उन्हें आप इसमें ऑर्गेनाइज करके रख सकते हैं तो अगर आपके घर में कोई ऐसा हैंगिंग प्लांटर है तो आप उसे इस तरीके से डेफिनेटली एवरीडे अपनी लाइफ को इजी बनाने के लिए यूज़ कर सकते हैं Just a quick fix for those who love to have lights in their crockery unit or in a TV unit. You can use these LEDs under the shelf lights, which comes with adhesive and can be easily fixed under the shelf. 
I like these because they are USB compliant and so better than the other battery operated lights where you have to change batteries very frequently. It has two modes. When you put it on auto mode, it will sense and switch on the lights. It also has on and off mode, which means when you need to switch on the light, just slide the button towards on and your light will glow. One of the easiest and budget friendly ways to have a spotlight in your crockery unit. When you like to read, you have a collection of books. So it's not always possible to keep all the books inside the cabinets. When we keep them in the open shelves, the layer of dust accumulates on the sides or on the top of the books. Cleaning them with a dry cloth is not a smart way. It takes a lot of time as you can only clean one book at a time. And also in the process, you happen to rub the dirt against the books. There is a smart way. Use a vacuum cleaner to clean the books from the outside as this is the only exposed part of the book on the bookshelf. Use a soft brush attachment on your vacuum and clean them from the sides and from the top. It will not take much of your time and your books will always be dust free. Removing the dust first will prevent streaks and smears. When we work on computers, our fingers are on the keyboards all the time and it makes the keyboard dirty. The most difficult part is how to clean in between the keys which are hard to reach out to on the computer. To clean it, one can always use a jelly cleaning gel. I will provide the link in the description box. But for the same, you can also use place line if you have kids at home as it works as a best cleaner to clean these intricate areas. It will easily pick all the dust particles between the keys and keeps your keyboard clean all the time. There is one more way to clean the keyboard is to use a Q-tip and a sanitizer. Spray a little bit on the Q-tip and clean the area between the keys. This way it takes time but it will clean the keyboard. So today in this video I have given you two ways to clean the keyboards. You can use either of them but make sure to clean your keyboards always once in a week to always keep it clean. I got this organizer a long time back from a local store. Such organizers are best as they can expand and you can use them on wall to organize home essential. Just to show in the video, I am using command hooks to hang this on the backsplash where you can hang the cups which you need on daily basis like this. As I said, they can expand as per the space you have. Just fix it on the wall to organize the shopping bags, apron, kitchen clothes, all organized at one place. You can also use it to organize your jewelry in your dressing area. I like products which can be used at home in various different ways and can solve many alternate purposes in an innovative way. At times, we have such a small space to work with. It could be the living room to find a place hidden to keep remote controls or to save some space on the study table to keep pen and pencils. The TV remotes can be kept near the couch in this space under the coffee table. These under the desk organizers are perfect for that. This comes with an adhesive at the back. You just need to peel it off and put it under the table nicely. Fix it and wait for 30 minutes and after that you can keep anything. It has a proper grip at the bottom with the help of that you can pull it out. You can keep all your remotes in it without any problem you can use it. If you have less space in your study table just fix it under a table to organize your stationery in it. One product but in many ways to be used around the home. You can use it under the kitchen cabinets to keep certain tools which we need occasionally.
I have organized some of my ceramic crockery in this drawer and the lids are kept here and it's always a kind of tension whenever I open the drawer, wondering if they might fall and break. I found this trick on Pinterest suggesting towel bars can be used. Then I thought why not to use this multi-hook vacuum based towel organizer. Now adjust the crockery and leave some space at the front where we will fix this towel rod. Just fix it and organize all the lids here. Organizing them close to the casseroles is a smart way so that whenever you need them you can easily take out instead of just keeping them somewhere else. There is one more way. When we organize any space it's not always possible to find the exact size of baskets which will fit in cabinets or drawers. There's always some space left which sometimes can be annoying when you open the drawer. So why not to use that space to keep the lids organized at the back of the baskets. This way also the lids will be safe whenever you open the drawer. When you plan to change the bed sheets in your bedroom, you just head to the drawer to grab some fresh sheets. And as you redress your bed, you notice some pretty deep creases in your bedding. You know it just makes the bed look not so great. We love to have bedrooms to look as classy as a 5 star hotel room. So to get rid of these wrinkles from your bed sheet, you just need to take a spray bottle. Similar to the ones nowadays we all use for hand sanitizer. Take one empty bottle, clean it, fill it with water. And next time when you see wrinkles like this on your bed sheet, just take this bottle, spray it and then straight it out with your hands. It will instantly release all the wrinkles and improve the aesthetics of your bedroom. You can also use an iron. Just heat it up and take it out from the switch. Now, iron out all creases, but before doing this, check the label of your mattress. Whether an iron could damage your mattress or not, then only use it. When you see a beautiful post over Pinterest for decorating your bathrooms and kitchen, these kind of colorful and transparent soap dispensers look very pretty and can make any space look more beautiful. लेकिन साथ साथ ये एक्सपेंसिव बहुत होते हैं व्हेन यू सर्च देम ऑनलाइन वन वेरी कूल हैक व्हिच आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग लास्ट ईयर व्हेन आई वाज डेकोरेटिंग माय किचन एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ आई ऑलवेज फॉरगॉट टू मेंशन दिस सो जब भी मैं कुछ इस तरीके के सोप डिस्पेंसर्स यूज करती हूं ओवर द टाइम ये अपनी शाइन खत्म करते जाते हैं और इन्हें क्लीन करना भी बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है और मैं तो हमेशा ये जो नोजल होती है पंप करने वाली उसको ब्रेक कर देती हूं मुझे ऐसे ट्रांसपेरेंट डिस्पेंसर्स ही पसंद हैं तो इनका मेंटेनेंस मुझे बहुत ज्यादा एक्सपेंसिव भी पड़ जाता है सो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर टू आइडियाज फॉर द फर्स्ट वन यू कैन गेट दीज काइंड ऑफ सोप डिस्पेंसर्स विच यू कैन वेरी इजली फाइंड इट इन एनी सुपर मार्केट गेट देम यूज देम रिमूव द लेबल्स फ्रॉम द बॉटल एंड रिफिल इट टू यूज इट अगेन एंड अगेन मेक श्योर करिएगा कि आप ट्रांसपेरेंट ला रहे हो नो मैटर आप किस ब्रांड का ला रहे हो इवेंचुअली तो आप उसका लेबल रिमूव कर दोगे और जब आप इन्हें अपने कहीं पर भी किचन में या बाथरूम में रखोगे एकदम स्टेटमेंट पीस की तरह लगने वाला है For the second idea you can use your beautiful looking shampoo or body lotion bottle but make sure they are transparent once you finish them clean them nicely and remove the label from the bottle aur ek bar jab aap is label ko remove karenge to jo salt deposit hai wo jab aap usko normal water se bhi clean out karenge to sara ka sara salt nikal jayega aur wo dekhne mein ekdam brand new si lagne lag jayegi And once when you clean it nicely, you can take pump from any old bottle, कुछ इस तरीके से और जो neck पर ये pumps जो होते हैं वो mostly universal होते हैं fit हो जाते हैं अगर bottle छोटी बड़ी है तो आपको उसका जो pipe है उसे cut करना पड़ेगा आपकी bottle के size के according. And your DIY soap dispenser is all set and ready. डिस्पेंसर इज ऑल सेट एंड रेडी आप आप इसको आपके बाथरूम में रखें या किचन में रखें ये बहुत सुंदर लगने वाला है When you clean your utensils and keep them in the basket, उस basket के नीचे फिर बहुत सारा water collect हो जाता है And to wipe down the water from the countertop, we use a small wiper because this is how it works. But keeping it on the countertop makes the whole kitchen look bad. And also, when you can hide it, then why to keep it here? Just simply use these self-adhesive mop holders, जिसमें कुछ ऐसा एक slot है जिसके ऊपर आप बहुत आराम से किसी भी size का mop या wiper fix कर सकते हैं Just stick it. on one of the doors of your under sink cabinets clean the surface and remove the peel and fix it wait for few minutes and then use it to hold your small wipers 
and it also comes with the hooks on the side where you can hang your brushes. Now, when you need to clean the countertop, simply open the door, take out the wiper, clean the countertop and then hide it away under the sink. Nowadays, everyone wants to have a healthy lifestyle and having less oil in food keeps us one step closer to that process. Recently, I started using this oil spray bottle, which is a great option to control the amount of oil you use in your food. When you directly pour oil for making idli, dosa, uttapam or chilas, sometimes you pour more than required. And that's not definitely good for your health. The simple pump system minimizes the use of extra oil, Threaded cap makes it leak proof and you can also use it to fill soy sauce, vinegar, juices which can be used for baking, grilling or for preparing the salads. A perfect replacement to artificial spraying and in this bottle you can fill oil of your choice. A perfect way to enjoy the best of low calorie cooking. Often we see beautiful posts over the internet about homes. We always feel tempted to have ours exactly like that. And in that process, either we put our feet a few steps back or sometimes we overspend. So the message is don't go by what you see, but try to find out what you need. Today, I'm going to show you not to spend more on buying those beautiful dining table covers which you see on Instagram. And I know how costly they come. I don't remember for how long I'm using these single bed sheets for the same. I have a good collection over time and I use these as covers. And the good thing is that nobody ever knows about them. Most of the time I bought these single bed sheets from DMART without pillow covers and they are very very inexpensive. If you will compare it with the actual dining table covers. First, I like to put these cotton bed sheets on the dining table and then to protect it further with any spills, I use this transparent plastic sheet. Nice way to make your dining space look more beautiful and that too in a budget. If you have a cast iron tawa or a non-stick pan which does not come with a plastic or silicon grip to handle, then I know how difficult it can be to hold it when it gets hot after a few minutes on the flame. You can use these silicon grips, which is a great insulating kitchen accessory that protects your hand from hot pan handles. Just insert them in the handle and voila, your problem is all sorted. Its textured surface enhances the comfort and make it sleep free when you hold it for making dosa or chila. Cloudy weather means lack of sunlight which results in more and more clothes waiting to be cleaned and dirty clothes get piled up. It's one thing to have enough space for keeping them but it is equally important to have a designated space for the clothes which need to be washed. If you have a proper space, then try to invest in a good size laundry hamper. This one is very old and I got it from Amazon. I will try to find something similar, so please check the link. This comes with a handle which makes it extremely good to carry directly to the washing machine for cleaning. It collapses nicely and when not in use can be kept inside the cabinets. But if you don't have space, then use these kind of hanging laundry bags. Just hang it with the help of command hooks and throw your dirty clothes in it. The very nice feature of this bag is that it comes with a zipper at the bottom. So just unzip it and take out all the clothes from here without going all the way inside the bag to get your dirty clothes. Both of them are equally useful. Now it's up to you which option you want to go with. If you are too much into decorating home and makeover and stuff, so don't get afraid to use paint as part of that. Now you can relate to what I'm going to say. We use paint tray, but once the job is done, it's all messy and cleaning the trays also 
one of the biggest jobs to do. So first thing is try to invest in a small tray like this so that you don't have to carry a big tray all around while painting. Now to control the mess created after painting, you can use a cling wrap or a thin plastic sheet or an aluminium foil paper. Put the cling wrap on the tray. Or if in case you are using an aluminium foil paper, put the foil paper on the tray and secure it nicely from all the sides. Now put the paint on the tray and use it to paint anything of your choice. Use it till the last drop and once when you are done, just throw away the plastic sheet. Or if the mess created is less, then you can uh, clean the plastic sheet and reuse again when you are painting. No more mess around your home and it can save a lot of time in cleaning as well. While buying pillow covers, sometimes we come across this problem that pillow cover is bigger than the filler. In that case, when you keep it on the bed, it looks a bit odd and makes the whole arrangement look not so good. So here is a small trick which I like to do when I face this problem. Put the pillow cover on the filler. Now put it upside down like this so that the bigger side of the pillow will come on the bottom. Now first hold the top portion and tuck it inside. When you do so, you will notice that the pockets are created on both the sides. These pockets will actually hold whole pillow cover together and also helps to keep it retained that way. Now tuck the bottom portion inside, stretch it from both the sides and tuck them in the pockets on both the sides. And we are done. Now you can keep them in the bed, style it and make your bed look as neat and beautiful as you want. Sometimes when we move our furniture, the marks that come on the tiles are very difficult to get rid of. It's not possible to clean it with normal scrubber and soap. If you come across such marks, just give it a try to clean with soap. But to clean it thoroughly, you can use WD-40 or magic eraser. First, I'm going to show you how to clean it with WD-40. Just spraying it over one half of the spot and then clean it with wet cloth. Now to clean the rest of the spot, I'm using wet magic eraser. Just rub it all over the spot. It will take away the mark and leaves you a clean floor. Two of the easy ways and both these products are very useful in the home. I know many of you might be peeling the cucumber the wrong way like me if you are using these peelers. Instead of peeling it in one direction, they are meant to be used back and forth like this for peeling. This is how these peelers are made to do the job. This way it saves time and these peelers come with one more very special feature of removing the spoiled portion from the potatoes, cucumber or any other vegetable. Just use this curved side of the peeler, insert it inside the spoiled patch and remove it. I am using these daily now to remove it if potatoes are spoiled or for peeling them in general. हमारे घर के अंदर जो भी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक आइटम्स होते हैं अगर वो ओपन रहेंगे तो डेफिनेटली गंदे होंगे और हम सब ने ही यू नो कभी ना कभी कोई ना कोई बहुत प्रिटी सा किचन टावल परचेज किया होता है बट वो इतना प्रिटी होता है कि हम उसे जल्दी से यूज नहीं कर पाते हैं तो आज इस हैक में मैं आप सबके साथ में शेयर करने वाली हूँ कि किस तरीके से आप किचन टावल्स को एक बहुत ही प्रिटी वे में डेकोर के लिए भी यूज कर सकते हैं और अपने अप्लायसेस को कवर कर सकते हैं जो भी साइज है अप्लायंस का उसके अकॉर्डिंगली आप टॉवल को फोल्ड कर लें हाफ में और फिर उसे यूज करें इन अप्लायसेस को कवर करने के लिए जैसे यहाँ पर मैं एक और बहुत प्रिटी सा किचन टॉवल यूज कर रही हूँ इस प्रिंटर को कवर करने के लिए बहुत बार मैंने देखा है हम सभी यू नो बेडशीट्स के कुछ पार्ट को कट करते हैं उसे स्टिच करवाते हैं तो अगर आपके पास कोई बहुत प्रिटी सी टॉवल पड़ी हुई है तो आप उसे ऐसे भी यूज कर सकते हैं When we travel, we do take the toiletries with us. But how do you keep your brush or toothbrush while traveling? Do you keep them in a pouch or in a separate toothbrush holder? When you carry a pouch, if you keep the wet toothbrush in it, it will invite bacteria. So recently, I found this amazing product on Amazon, which is a hiking travel toothbrush and paste holder. It comes with a holder where you can nicely keep your brushes and toothpaste. It comes with two slots for brush, but it can hold up 
to four brushes without any problem. It comes with a lid which can act as a glass where you can pour water while brushing. When you reach your hotel, just open it, keep it on the bathroom countertop and once when you're done, just close it. Very hygienic, especially for those people who are like me who don't like to use anything which is provided by the hotel. Mm -hmm.